You ever find yourself somewhere important, your phone starts receiving a ton of loud and disruptive notifications, and you just wish you could flip your phone over to silence it? Well, Flip d, &D is an application that will help you to achieve that very thing. You just flip your phone over, and within a second or so, your phone will turn on its do not disturb mode automatically. And when you flip it back, it'll turn it back off for you. And I know what you're thinking, don't Google Pixel phones already have this feature built in? And yes, they do. But this is what's so great about Android is that for every exclusive feature on one manufacturer's phone, there's quite often a third party app that recreates it for other phones. And Flip D&D &D does exactly that. All right, next up today is Project Thema. And this is an app that takes customization for phones running AOSP based ROMs to a whole nother level altogether. You open it up and instantly you'll be greeted with a huge list of tools and utilities that'll help you to customize the look of your phone's quick settings panel really quickly and easily. Now up front, your phone does need to have root access unlocked for this to work, but if it does, then you'll be able to use this app to change your quick settings accent color or even add gradients. You can change the shape of the tiles themselves or even the style of the brightness slider, as well as the style of the notifications themselves, plus a heap more. And the app also comes with a heap of pre-made themes as well for super quick theme adjusting. And speaking of theming, if you're a big user of Telegram and you're keen to try a hand at creating some more unique themes to make the app look your own, then you should definitely try out Telegram Themer. This is a super simple one page interface app and you simply choose a color for your theme at the top here, then choose between the default configuration or this secondary option called Soza, which sort of makes the theme have a lot of configuration to it. And then you get three main tweaks from there whether to use a dark theme, whether to activate the Monet accent option so that the theme will adapt to your phone's current wallpaper, which will override the color selection at the top. And finally, you can enable this gradient option for an even more unique look. Then once done, you tap on create, then share the theme to a conversation in Telegram. Then you can just tap on that theme, hit apply, and there you go. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why can't I just create my own theme within Telegram? And whilst of course you can, trust me when I say that it can get overly convoluted if you step outside their preset options. And it doesn't allow for system-based accent color theming as well. So Telegram Thema is a perfect solution to both of those issues. Now by now, I'm guessing that you've all probably already heard of Nearby Share, which is Android's answer to Apple's AirDrop, except it's always felt a little underwhelming in comparison, right? Well, things have just gotten way better thanks to two new apps. The first is Google's own Nearby Share app for Windows, which is in beta at the time of making this video, but it literally unlocks proper AirDrop-like sharing functionality between Android and Windows devices and is worth mentioning in and of itself. But then an independent developer just recently released a similar app for Mac devices called Neardrop, and it also unlocks the same sharing functionality, but on Mac devices. The only catch is that you can only receive items via the Mac version at this time. You can't send them, but the developer is working on an update to support this feature. So hopefully we see that in the near future. From there, we have Inua, and this is a really powerful open source app manager and analyzer application that offers a ridiculous amount of functionality in probably the cleanest and most fluid user interface I've literally ever come across. On the app's main screen, you'll see shortcuts to a bunch of different tools related to the apps installed on your phone, including viewing each of your installed and system apps in a neat organized list. There's a terminal emulator, usage stats for each app, and there's even an entire section dedicated to performing different batch actions for groups of selected apps. But then aside from all of that incredible functionality, my absolute favorite part of this app is the design and the animations. I mean, seriously, even just to marvel at how fluid this app feels to use, that alone makes it worth trying. Not only that, but along with a bunch of other apps featured in today's video, if you sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live, then you will actually get the premium version of this app completely for free. Next up is Folder in Folder, and this is a fantastic app I stumbled upon recently that is basically like a secret power for organizing your home screen. Now, whilst most standard home screen launches let you create folders, 
For one, they're rarely customizable. And secondly, they don't let you put additional folders in those folders. And those two features are exactly what folder in folder allows for. You can either just drag the main app icon to your home screen and use that to launch into the folder. Or what I prefer doing is creating a shortcut to that app using the Shortcut Maker application. And that's so that I can give it a custom icon and disable the label. But then from there, with the folder opened, you just tap this little menu icon, add as many apps as you like, and of course, your folders of apps. And you can even use the auto folder generation feature to automatically create folders based on different categories. You can of course also tweak a bunch of settings, including the icon pack and icon size, among other things. After that is stems. And if you've ever wondered what one of your favorite songs would sound like without the drums or without the vocals, then this is an amazing AI based tool that'll help you to achieve exactly that. The app will let you import any song from your phone's library. And once you select it, it'll then analyze it. And then using some advanced AI wizardry, it'll separate each instrument from that song into separate isolated tracks. You can then turn on or off tracks as you like, or just adjust the volume separately. You can even use the built-in metronome tool to speed up or slow down the track. And then the cool thing is that once you've made all of your desired changes, you can then export that track to play later on outside of the app. Now, the only catch is that the app only lets you do this process once, after which point you do need to upgrade to the premium version, but it is staggering just how well it isolates each instrument stem, and it's worth trying for that reason alone. And then we have Measure, and this is a really powerful application that'll allow you to measure spaces super quickly using just your phone's camera and its movement. You just select the sort of measurement you're after, and from there, the app will launch into a camera view. You then move to wherever you want to start the measurement. So let's say one end of a room, tap the start button. And then as you move, let's say to the other end of the room, the app will give you a live real time measurement. And I've tested it up against my tape measure a couple of times. And whilst it's not always 100% accurate, it does get pretty dang close and would be super useful for coming up with rough measurements on the fly. Okay, second to last today is an app called TrueShot. And this app is seriously incredible if you're someone who captures and shares a lot of screenshots. And that's because the whole concept of this app revolves around making your screenshots look better. You just tap here to add your screenshot of choice. And then from there, you can adjust the corner radius or add a drop shadow. You can also increase and decrease the padding of the screenshot relative to the background. And then speaking of the background, you can then also, of course, tweak the background from a pretty solid list of gradient style presets, or even select your own image for the background if you upgrade to the premium version. Such a simple yet useful concept. And so hats off to the developer for executing it so well. And so finally today we have Positional, and this is an app made by the same developer as the Anua app, so you know it's gonna have a nice design, but the app itself is also pretty dang useful as well. So it's essentially a fancy version of Google Maps, but without the navigation aspect of it, in that if you're looking to find out detailed information about your current location, or really any location, then this app will let you do that. I'm talking latitude and longitude, altitude, speed, your address information, it's all there. And then to go along with that, you also have an inbuilt compass, a beautiful clock page jam packed with extra time-based information under here. There's a directional compass, which you can use to guide you to specific tracking points. And then, like I said, it's all wrapped up in a gorgeous design with beautiful animations on show throughout. But there you have it, 10 incredible Android apps that I reckon are seriously cool. And as always, I reached out to a bunch of the developers behind the apps on today's list and asked them if they would be interested in giving my channel members a promo code to the premium versions of their apps and a bunch of them agreed. So a huge thank you to the developers behind the apps on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get the promo codes yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live. And that is it. And just to make it absolutely crystal clear, this is not a promo code giveaway. This is a guaranteed promo code for every single channel member for each of the apps mentioned. 
And if you want to discover even more amazing Android apps, you'll see every single app I've ever showcased in a top Android apps video here on the channel, then I highly recommend checking out my very own application shelf, which I will link down below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.